Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming today. I know we are not the only Defense Technology Expo scheduled today, which is weird, right? Like, what are the chances? So, I appreciate you all coming to this one despite the competition. Now, before I showcase the next weapon on our agenda today, I'd like to ask you all a question. Are you comfortable? Are you in a nice position in those seats? Because you are going to be like that for a while. Because what I have right here is the next weapon for today. The Mass Paralysis Ray. And all of you are going to be the subjects of today's demonstration. Man, I love that sound. Oh, but I'm so sorry, I never introduced myself. Now, some of you might have recognized me by now. And I appreciate it if you have, truly. But I am your friendly neighborhood supervillain. The one and only Skullface. Though I'm hoping to branch out a bit. Go a bit more international. Expand past just the local neighborhood. You've got to dream big after all. And that's what this is about. I've got to say though, I'm a bit disappointed in all of you. You know you would think a defense technology expo like this one, where they show off all the fancy new weapons, would have better security, right? <laughs> but it was so easy to get in. You know I infiltrated basically all the security guard positions, right? Look around you! Well, I guess you're paralyzed, so you can't. <laughs> but the point is, all I had to do was have my henchmen sign up. <laughs> but I guess that's what happens when you pay your security pennies. You will take anyone who isn't doing it for the pay. Which, let me tell you, is no one. Rip what you so idiots. Jeez, all this villain is making me hungry. Hey, Nathan! Could you be a deer and get me one of the hot dogs from the stand? Thank you, Nathan. Happy birthday, by the way. Yeah, you know I'd never forget. Oh, and you're light on the mustard with this one. Just like I like it. You always have so much attention to detail. That doesn't go unnoticed. I really appreciate it. Hope your kids are doing alright, by the way. Now, off you go now. Gotta get back to pointing your gun at the audience. I've gotta say, food tastes so much better when you steal it. Good thing I do it a lot. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, right. You guys in the audience are all idiots. But not you, henchman. You're not part of the audience. You guys, you guys are great. And of course, there is just one exception in this audience. There is exactly one person in the audience here who is not a complete idiot. They are actually the star of the show here. An unappreciated genius. Could the scientist who designed this gun please step forward? Come on, I know you're here. <laughs> that was a little joke. I know you're paralyzed and you can't move. Now let's see. Where's this single target and paralyzed setting on this thing? Oh, it's right here. The design of this gun is so intuitive. You are a damn legend at what you do. There we go. Come on, you can move now. Feel for yourself, stretch a bit if you want. And then come up on stage with me. It's alright, it's alright, you're safe with me. I'm not going to hurt you. I'd never hurt you. You are the superstar here. Today. 
today is all about you. Now, before I say anything, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, because I might be a villain, but you, you are my hero. And I mean that in like a good way, not that you are a superhero who always foils my plan. <laughs> and I want to say that I love you. You know, just because you design weapons and you are really inspirational and I appreciate the work you do. Now, I know what you might be thinking. You only designed the blueprint here. You never got the materials or actually made this weapon a reality. Well, let me explain. I've... I've been watching you for a very long time. You know, just for like, super villain reasons. Because you design weapons. I mean, I was talking to you from since long before you started designing weapons, but <laughs> hey, happy little accidents. And I was going through your trash one day just for super villain reasons, like I said. And that's where I found the blueprints for this ray. And I also found your rejection letters from all the defense contractors who laughed at you and said that the design was impossible and didn't make sense. They didn't understand what a genius you are. But I understand. You are the most brilliant mind of our generation. I really want to get into your bed. I mean your head. I want to get into your head. Because you have so many great ideas. <clears throat> but anyway, I took the design and I made it a reality. It feels good, right? To see your dream become a reality. And I know this gun is your dream. Because I was watching you. I watched you put your sweat and tears and soul into this design. Toiling over every last formula. I saw you labor for hours upon hours, sacrificing all of your sleep. Chugging energy drink after energy drink just to stay awake. You might want to cut back on those drinks though. It's bad for your kidneys and our little superstar has to stay healthy. But I saw how much effort and pain and sacrifice you put into this design. And I know how those unappreciative defense contractors stepped all over your work and dreams. Look at them. They are right here in the audience. You see them, right? You see their expressions? Frozen in fear? <laughs> they are so damn scared of the design they were laughing at not too long ago. I know you must have felt so powerless. You must have felt so hurt and betrayed and powerless when you did everything right. You did everything right and still none of it mattered. None of those unappreciative contractors would even give you the time of day. But I appreciate you. And you don't have to be powerless. I want to give you power. That's what this is all about. I can't stand to see a person as brilliant and precious as you be powerless. That's why I want you to work for me. Look at the audience. These are all the people that wronged you. If they could move, they would be shaking. If they could speak, they would be screaming. But you're different. You can still move. You could do whatever you wanted to them, and they wouldn't be able to do a thing. It feels good, right? It makes you feel powerful, right? Work with me. And you can feel this way all the time. Look at them. You are the one with the gun here. And I'm not just talking about your paralysis ray. Because you know, I've got a real gun with me. And if you want it, well, I could hand it over to you. I trust you. 
because I understand you. And if you want to do something with that gun, well, I, I wouldn't stop you. But it's all up to you. I'm not gonna force your hand or force you to get revenge. Relationships are based on respect. Oh jeez, that makes it sound like we're dating. And we are not, right? I mean, not yet. Wait, are we dating? <laughs> right, we are not. I get that. Because I respect you. Sorry, but... What I meant to say is... I respect you professionally. I respect your intelligence and I love your hair. I mean, I love your flair. I love your flair. You've got a lot of aptitude with what you do. Not that I love your hair. I mean, I do love your hair, though. It's really nice. Especially after you switched shampoos a while ago. You even made me switch over. And I, and I love how my hair smells like yours now. Wait, shit, did I say that out loud? Ignore that. Ignore that. Forget I said anything. <clears throat> um, but anyway, you should really work for me. We would love to have you in the family. We've got movie nights, but it's not mandatory. And I pay well, believe me. I can make you filthy, sticking rich. Work for me and you will have more money than you will know what to do with. You have more green than the Amazon. You have to rent out warehouses just to hold all your money. Well, not really. We have our own bank system, so we will handle that. But you get the idea. I will pay you a stupidly large amount of money. And I can pay you in other ways, too. <laughs> and hey, we've got great health plans, too. Nathan? Care to tell our superstar here how great your dental is? He's a little shy. But hey, we all got our strengths and weaknesses. We're a team. And we would love to have you on it. So what do you say? Wanna get together? You know, just as enjoying my business, not like a romantic relationship. That would be inappropriate, right? Unless...